This is a quick video on the seven best natural laxatives. Now, if you're constipated, the problem that you have is mainly in the large intestine more than the small intestine. The large intestine has smooth muscle that allows it to contract and push food along this tract. And that action is called peristalsis. So let's start with number one. Senna is a really good remedy. Uh, senna has a certain chemical in it. It's a natural chemical that's eaten by your friendly bacteria that stimulates smooth muscle. It stimulates motility. It triggers this peristalsis action, not in the small intestine, but just in the large intestine. The next one is Cascara Sagrada. This is a very popular herbal laxative that does the exact same thing. There's a certain chemical in it that is eaten by the bacteria that will stimulate the smooth muscle contraction. Now, I will say that anytime you're taking a laxative, you can uh, deplete your potassium over a long period of time. So if you're in a situation where you have constipation that you have to take it, uh, make sure you take some additional potassium simply because it could deplete your potassium. All right, next one is black psyllium, okay? This is a certain fiber that will swell with water because you need that water to form the gel that actually helps things move along. But psyllium seed in general is a very popular laxative. Castor oil, okay, is another good laxative. It comes from castor seeds. And then we have magnesium. A lot of people add magnesium to herbs to enhance the effect, but magnesium is a mineral that helps relax muscle in general, not just skeletal muscle, but smooth muscle to allow food to actually go through the body. So if you have pain in the colon from some type of spasm, magnesium is a great thing to take as well. Potassium is another mineral that goes along with magnesium. It can have a similar effect. Okay, vegetables in general, especially fermented vegetables, are really good to feed the bacteria, but you wanna adjust the vegetables. Sometimes increasing vegetables will feed the microbes to actually help you eliminate, but other times you might wanna decrease the vegetables, especially if you have a condition called SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, because if you took more vegetables, fiber that's fermented especially, you are gonna cause more bloating. So if you don't have this, adding more vegetables would be a very good thing, mainly because a lot of the digestion in the large colon is done by the help of microbes. And the last thing is actually taking friendly bacteria it's called probiotics. So the combination of adding probiotics with fiber, which feed the microbes, usually will correct constipation. If you want more information on a really good liquid probiotic, I put a link down below. Now, a common question that people have is, I don't want to take a laxative because they're addicting. Okay. Well, you have to weigh out the advantages versus the disadvantages of, of having constipation. The toxic effect of having chronic constipation is very, very, very dangerous to the body over a period of time versus the minor side effect of taking a laxative, which is not gonna be an addiction. It might be a small drop in potassium, but you can easily take more potassium. Ultimately, you wanna correct what's causing the constipation, which usually happens to be what you're eating or a lack of friendly bacteria. But it can also be the food that feeds the bacteria, which are these things called vegetable fibers. Our bodies do not have the ability to break down fiber, and that's why we have microbes. And as a last note, if you haven't seen my video on the basics of digestion, check it out. I put it on the screen right here. So if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and share it with someone that could really benefit from it.